Hey guys, um, five Aussie adventurers here. Just thought we've had quite a few people lately asking us to do a walk around and have a look in our canopy and a bit of a what we've done to the truck, which is forever changing. So we brought the truck with about 10,000 Ks on it, second hand, but pretty much new. Um, it was a builder, so it just had two toolboxes on the back and that was it. So had this bull bar on it. Um, we got, it's just a standard Isuzu bar. We got a custom winch cradle made for it um, to go in behind it because we liked the look of this bar. We didn't want to go with the same bar as everyone else. Um, put the 17,500 pound run of a winch in it. Um, yeah, that's about it. Jimmy Ariel was already on there. We've just recently changed the solar panels. We just put two 475 watt panels on. So 950 watts all up. And they're pumping in the juice. Um, yeah, so it came with the uh, 19 and a half inch rims, super singles. Um, so we can, we're full GCM, GBM. Uh, which we're close to, we're pretty heavy. We already had the Dobinson suspension, um, West Australia spring packs in them. So we've just stuck with them, they seem to be doing pretty good so far. Um, had the tray on already, I've quickly rushed, put, built the canopy. Um, it's all steel framed and just aluminium glued and riveted. Um, this is changed again recently, so just quickly put a shelf in it. So all our chairs go up top there, out of the way. Um, as you, most of you are aware, we've just recently brought a tinny. So this houses the 15 horsepower Yamaha outboard. Um, yeah, this is just bits and pieces. There's a welder up the back there and did other stuff. So that's our battery down the back there. We've only got one 200 amp iTech World battery, lithium. And, and yeah, this is the Victron charger that we put in, solar controller. So it's regulating all our power. There's a 3000 watt inverter up behind this freezer. So that's charging a bit of our gear, a bit of the kids gear at the moment. Um, yeah, this is our, we did have a 40 litre um, chest freezer, just an angle on a drop down slide and it was just heavy and a pain to try and get out frozen stuff so we've upgraded to the angle upright which is so much better so much easier um, we've recently put these drawers into which has added a bit of weight but we had the two already on the other side which has always had a fridge and a fridge slide on it and they've just been really good for the price we pay for them. So they've got all our bits and pieces in them. You know, there's two camp ovens, um, a bit of other stuff. Crap. <laughs> Hammock. Hammock. <laughs> That's our rec full rec truck recovery gear in there. So all our straps, soft shackles. Um, I think it's a 40,000 pound synthetic rope. Something like that. So yeah. Max tracks in deflate, deflate. As just another bit of a junk drawer, just a bit of bits and pieces, spares. So we're fully set up to yeah. leave the caravan behind and go camping yeah. in the rooftop tent, which is at the back. Yeah. That's something new, which you'll see in upcoming videos. We'll have to give it a go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've had the two toolboxes on the back here. So we got rid of those and we've upgraded, brought a, dog cage so the dog used to give them a bit more space so this all just rolls up so we travel with two dogs yep. um, a three-year-old bull arab boy and a our old girl she's nearly 10 so yeah. that's fully insulated yeah top roof front wall and the floors all insulated underneath the ploy yeah and we could open all those sides up so it gives them lots of breeze through there we can close them as we need for block sun out or if it's cold like it has been the last few nights. Mm -hmm. Close it up a bit for them. They're nice and snug. 
Um, that's our rooftop tent on the back there, which used to be up on the canopy, but we've moved it down lower uh, to make way for the boat. Um, yeah, so when we need to use it, we'll pull the rack. There's four bolts. Pull this rack off, boat will slide forward, and that opens up and folds down the back. So easy enough. The amount of times we use it. Yeah, and that's where the spare is. So there's yeah. one spare. Yeah, one spare under. Underneath. And another spare up here. So we carry two at all times because anyone who runs a truck like these with the super singles, you know how expensive and how hard they can be to get, especially in remote places. Not your average tire shop will have them in stock. Yeah. Um, so we've got the two fuel tanks, 140 yeah, so. litre fuel tanks and how are they connected Jack? Um, wired in, come around the side, wired them in with a pollock valve. Second fuel filter for it. Um, yeah that's the pollock valve up under there. So it's all wired into the existing gauge so you flick a switch in the cab and it changes your, um, picks up the level so it uses the same fuel gauge everything which is really handy easy to you can change it on the fly. We originally just had a pump set up and I just we had to stop and actually had to plug it in and it was just a pain when we stopped. So it's, this one's nice and easy. Shift on the fly as we're moving. What um, have we got hidden in here? Got a long handled shovel. shovel under there. And just a little short handle and an axe splitter. Beautiful. So what what are those two rhino boxes so up the top there? All our boat stuff lives up there, out of the way. So we've got the boat fuel tank in the front there, which is we usually try to keep full as well. And, and oil, that's oil and they, yeah, they're all vented, both boxes. That's got life jackets, oars, um, yeah, everything else for the boat we need, all little bits and pieces. Yep, sounds good. Um, so this box here was where we originally made yep. for the dogs. This used to be the doggies box. Um, but after going through Western Queensland in summer, October, yeah. um, we decided that they needed a lot more airflow and larger space. So you sold the two toolboxes that were on the back. Yeah, and moved all, all my tools, tools up here, which is good because there's a fair bit of weight in there. So that shifted a bit of the weight forwards too from behind the axles. Yeah. So Air Jack is a heavy diesel fitter. Diesel fitter. So he has work. lots of tools in there to be able to work on the road. Yeah, and spares. Yeah. So yeah, and that's our air compressor. It's doing the job so far. It's really handy. We just brought a little coil. Uh, it's a 20 meter retractable. Uh, retractable air. Is that's yeah. the word? <laughs> so yeah, it's easy enough to. So I just pull out the alligator clips. It's straight to the battery there. So yeah. far. I'll get around to hard wiring it one day. <laughs> it's a all forever, work in progress. Yeah. yeah. Little nah, tweaks all, here and there. All seems to be working, changing little bits all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so we bought the truck in July 2023 and our lease in our rental ended the end of September. So we it was a very rushed few months to change from our ram to the truck and Jack to build everything as well as us pack up and sell our life and move into a caravan. So <laughs> it's, yeah, changing things every day. So this is the most important part of the whole build. <laughs> this is the beer fridge. It's probably the most used. It is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, really handy on the drop down. Yeah. Amber still can't see, so she can't see how many beers I've been drinking. <laughs> but no, it works good. What have we got in there? Oh. Beers. <laughs> Amber's little drinks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's super handy. Yeah, it's easy to use. Yeah. Alright, so uh, just more junk more in junk. the drawers, All more the dog, camping. Dog medicine, stuff. you know, dog um, tick tablets and flea and tick collars and bits and pieces, dog runs, clotheslines, a few charges and bits and pieces. Yeah. A bit of fishing gear in there, spare line. Um, there's some plates and yeah. cutlery and stuff. There's yeah, Living cooking, things. yeah, cast iron cooking. So just cook straight on the fire. Mm -hmm. Gas burner. 
the best fire lighter ever. <laughs> and this here is a slide out pantry that Jack made for our camp trailer. Yeah. And when we were making this canopy, we decided it had to come with us. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's pretty well just holding junk at the moment. Yeah, but it's super <laughs> ah, handy. Spare toilet paper and stuff like that. Yeah, and we got our fishing rods we up got there. Fishing rods out of the way. I generally keep my little one on the dash of the truck because I'm such a keen, useless fisherman. Angler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's um, called fishing, not catching. Yeah. So our Max Tracks, we used to have a mount on the side of our toolbox, which was handy, but we've had to find somewhere else. So we made up a little bracket down in there for them to slide into it and just one pin with a lock on it. Holds them. Haven't moved so far. Yeah. Dog food. So I keep dog food nice and handy so I can just open it straight up and feed them. Um, got two diesel jerrys in there and there is a 2KVA Honda generator tucked down the back there underneath that ladder. Yeah, so we weren't so sure whether we bring that or not but we figured with the truck we might as well hmm. and luckily we did because we've had to use it a couple of times. Yeah. So yeah, that's Coming it. In. So yeah, a couple a of toolboxes under the tray. Yeah, it is. Bits and, Bits and pieces, few snatch straps, some tire repair kit, uh, jumper leads, yep. other ratchet straps, straps in the next one. Yeah, ratchet straps and ropes. And, and, and we pieces. run the air hitch. Yeah, air shocker. Air shocker hitch yeah. for our caravan. Yeah, that's the air shocker. Which is. Yeah, it's working great actually. We're really happy with it. We can watch it. We've got a camera up under there. And we can pretty well watch what the caravan's doing in the in the um, camera, and it works its ass off that itch. It's really good. Yeah. A couple of extra mud flaps under there, which I put. And we've got the stone stumper as well. Yeah. So a bit of protection uh, there for the. Good friend Dave gave us some mud flaps. <laughs> Mac. Metra. Would have preferred some Kenworth ones, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> yeah, um, so, all yeah. in all, we're really happy with the truck. Yeah, it's all working. I'm going to change the boat tie down, get rid of ratchet straps, and just have turnbuckles or something. But again, it's all a work in progress. <laughs> for those days when you're bored. Yeah. But no, it all works for us. That's. The outside. So the canopy's all insulated with that foil board. Yeah. Um, and ply lined with the marine carpet. That was mainly to cool the dogs down. Yeah. But it works well for everything else. Keeps you know, the fridges, our fridges and stuff and... a bit cool too. There's not a lot of ventilation in there. All the ventilation for the canopy comes through these vents up the front here, and yeah. also where the dog through there. Yeah. Which. They seem to work. We've been through some pretty hot stuff and they've fridges everything work good. Yeah, everything runs well. Yeah, we got a So little... that's our truck. We'll just that's the outside. Um and it's the Isuzu NPS three hundred four by four manual. So we'll head inside now. Alright, so this is the cabin. Um yeah that's jump on what up. What have we Jack. got in here? We haven't got not a real lot in here. It's all pretty quite standard. Simple. We did do the car builders insulation. Yeah, at the start we fully insulated and lined the roof or ceiling, um, all the floor, all under here. So the whole interior was stripped out, all seats, absolutely everything. Um, the backs don't. The back walls, the window surrounds, never come with. They don't even come with carpet. It's just bare metal. So that's all insulated behind there now and carpeted. Makes it look a bit nicer and definitely helps with the with the noise and the heat. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, cab over truck, you're sitting on top of the engine, you get a lot of road noise and a lot of engine noise through, which that definitely helped. Yeah. So what do we got here that's different? So I uh, just got our red arc brake controller here, electric controller. Um, that's our switch down there for the fuel tanks. I was talking about the product valve. So main tank, second tank, which works really good. A couple of little phone holders. Yeah, and then we got That's our tire pressure monitoring system, TPMS, I check. Um, yeah, it's working all right at the moment. 
Um, that's our rear camera for the wireless. caravan. It's a yep. wireless one. Wireless one. It came with the van. And our Garmin Overlander GPS that we just got. Yeah. So we got yeah. the UHF that sits on 40. Yeah, running there. XRS GME, which yeah. is good on a magnetic line, nice and easy. You can pretty well just throw it back there. Yeah. And then what's this in the center, Jack? It's our armrest. It's a, just a 32 litre angle, which comes in really handle, handy for water bottles and yeah, just keeping quick snacks and stuff for the kids, even on long drives. Yeah, and it's really comfortable. Yeah. Actually having somewhere to put your arm. It is, it's really good. It's <laughs> yeah, it's perfect yeah. height. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, what else are we yeah, throwing we've, in Yeah, we've taken out, these are a six, three-seater across the front. Uh, before we left, because with the backrest of the middle seat, which we don't need, we, the fridge was pushed forward too far, so it was nearly right up against the dash. So we've removed the backrest, and we didn't have anything in there to start with. We had this right back. And then when Amber's mum came to visit for a, a little bit, we needed an extra seat, so a bit of ply cable tied in there <laughs> with a pillow on it. Worked great for a couple of days. It's still got the seat belt. Yeah, it's still got the seat belt. It's, it's still, still legal. legal to carry the same amount of So people. we've just left the ply there now, and yeah. in case we ever need to take the fridge out and Use it pick up a hitchhiker or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got some hat holders here. Yeah, a couple They're of Cobra holders. Handy for the Cobras. Yeah. And we've installed the two Sirocco fans. Yeah, they're good for the kids. Yeah, awesome. Because it's we don't have a rear aircon in this truck. Yeah. So, you know, these are the aircon vents here and it gets mighty big, hot during the it's day. It's a big cabin. Yeah. So you if need you, them fans. We try to drive just in the mornings and it's cool then, you know. But mm. if you're driving lunchtime onwards it does get quite hot so those fans pushing that aircon back definitely help the kids yeah yeah we've got just a couple of power points here just cigarette sockets the chargers and yeah. running bits and pieces and we've got the cup it now cup holders yeah in the doors and electric windows i'm sure yeah. they're standard and it's manual they're really good these cup it they just slot straight into your yeah in the old ashtrays, which... 3D printed. Who uses an ashtray in a car anymore? <laughs> yeah, they're really good then, cup it now. Alright, let's a plug. Get, jump in the back. <laughs> so this is the back seat area. We've thrown a bit of fake grass on there for the kids to brush their feet off. We've got three kids, and they're all in the five-point safety harness yeah. seats. Kid seat safety's huge for us. Mm. We've, yeah... Our daughter's been trying for a long time to get into a booster seat, but she's too short. And frankly, it's... we just feel safer with her in this. Yeah. Okay. Seat belts are one of our main yeah. things. You'll barely ever see our kids with a loose or twisted seat belt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've scarred them to the point where if we start to drive and one of them don't have it on or it's not tight enough, they stop us. <laughs> yeah. Which we don't think is a bad thing. That's good. Especially yeah, not yeah. in a big truck. Imagine if you had an accident, the kids yeah. don't have much holding them in. So yeah, pretty basic in here otherwise. There's, there's a snake kit there. Yeah. Always keep handy. And um, we've got um, a personal beacon. Yeah, it's beacon. a EPIRB personal locating beacon Yeah. up in there. Up in the front. Yeah, so readily available. We need that. Just in case. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah so. the in, the car builder's installation, we've actually got a, done a video on that, so you can jump through and check that yeah. out. But um, it's, you know, it's insulated and sound dead, deadened all of around here. <laughs> so it really helps with the heat. So this side was got a four and a half kilo fire extinguisher and powder, which is definitely, in my opinion, really important to have a decent size one. Not just your little one kilo ones, which are, uh, you know, at least this one will actually help fight a decent fire if we have had an electrical fire or anybody else on, we come across. Yeah. So I think it's a huge, yeah, thing to have. Um, it's easy to get to, just under that strap and rip it straight out. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Yeah, that's about it. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump on and ask. Like we said, it's an ever-changing project of ours, but we love the truck. We yeah. wouldn't have it any other way. It's, it's home. 
Yeah. It's it's not... a GVM of seven and a half ton yeah. and a GCM of eleven ton. So we're sitting with the van about ten point seven to ten point eight tons. Yeah. So you know, eleven ton GCM. So we're legal yeah. on the van and the truck everywhere. And we can take all our toys and all our tools, tools and bits and pieces, and yeah. our life. Yeah, and safely and legally. There's not many other, not many other vehicles that you'd be able to do this. No. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Yeah. Reach out if you have any questions. Yeah. Don't forget to see all our videos and where we go to. Hit the subscribe button.